Action! Are you fixing your hair? You don't even have any damn hair to fix. What are you fixing? Welcome to Breaking the Cycle I'm episode... Hair, Wait, let me check my watch. Episode 14. Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive real mode... A what? <clears throat> Positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you could become the type of man one. Where did that come from? Right here. Oh. Your son would want to become and the type of man one day your daughter would want to marry. These are types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn to think for themselves. And are not afraid to be themselves. Focus, so, kid. Focus. You're losing your focus easy. You're like getting all hair. You're interrupting me. You're getting like a cat fur so ball they, in your throat. Eventually, and they will be, are confronted with these life situations and they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. All right. From a distance, I see on one of those. So there's different cameras, different phones. One of them, I see all kinds of these. What are those? What is that? Can you see your glasses? I can't see that far. It's like kind of emoji of something. See it? Like a million of them. On the Instagrams. Mm. So this is Breaking the Cycle, cycle number. episode number 14. You guys we, want Joe? Oh, fuck. Already? Already? Jeez. Ooh, dollar. Ooh. Whatever. Why is being fat not funny? Because you can't laugh it off. Did you just start off with a fat joke? You kicked off episode 14 with a fat joke. Well, that's mean. You you had the joke. Don't mind this. We're just making sure things are going smoothly. Here's a very professional operation on breaking the cycle. So episode 14, we're going to talk about a few things. And, and usually we have a topic. Yeah, that's a microphone. Usually we have a topic that we semi-stick to. And then we just go off in all different wild directions. Like a, like a freaking couple of gerbils all over the place. But we're going to talk about some things about school and about education and this other stuff and, and things you learn, things they don't learn. And we're going to talk about some. So this weekend was pretty this week. Past week was pretty busy. First, we had a, a leadership and team development training in here in California with business owners from all over the area that came in. And we did some we did some leadership teamwork communication training with them on how to have work-life synergy, work-life satisfaction, things like that, so that they could take it back to their teams, be better leaders, better communicators, and make more money. Two days after that, we had the Squire program, which is father and son program. You know, we have the, the project, the modern day night project for men's personal development, but we have the Squire program, which is a father-son program on how to be a better rail, rail. now I'm saying you a rail model, that's what you said. Rail, be a better rail, rail model, role model. And to break the cycle, just like this show is breaking the cycle. And you know what a, one father asked me during this? It was a, he said, all right, the way that, you know, like we act a little differently. We're a little off. We do things a little differently. Mm -hmm. Like the, the types of games you're allowed to play, the types of movies that you're allowed to watch, the way that I might talk, even though you're not allowed to talk like that. We do things a little differently. And you started with a fat joke. That's like, oh man, offensive. Or we make joke. We don't even care that much about too much about politics, but we make jokes about stuff, and we get <laughs> we have entertainment about that. So a guy asked me. He said, "The way that you are, the way you think, like military, you like guns and all this other stuff, and the masks and the coronas and the needles in your butts and all that stuff." He said, "How do you deal with your kid going to a public school? Because they're very I feel good. They're very mm. different than the way we operate, right, in school." And I thought about it, and I had a quick answer, and I thought about it, and I figured that's what this would be. This, this show would be about, and we're gonna—I'm gonna tell you exactly why, because we could home. We, I would, it, if I had to choose one or the other, really, like if to get you a better actual education, would probably be homeschooling. But there's different reasons why we don't do that, and we're gonna talk about it. And it's different than you might think, and probably a lot of kids should be taken out of regular schools these days because they are fucked up. They're fucking weird. Can't you not, are you not even allowed to run on the blacktop? Yeah, we're not allowed to run on the blacktop. Like the blacktop outside. The blacktop that was put down for kids to run on, you're not allowed to run on. Why not? Because they're afraid that you'd get hurt. 
or like you get a scratch or something. Oh no, you might get a flipping scratch. They're doing, they are robbing, they're robbing, you know you're robbing you, sit up straight first of all man. You know they're robbing you of like childhood, childhood is all about skin knees and bloody elbows and shit, like that's what being a kid is about, doing wild crazy shit, like taking a, a, a an axe and assassinating your sister's big teddy bear like 8,000 times an hour, like and making these sounds and all these different things. I was listening to a book today and they said, boys, like it's just in your blood. That you see a twig outside and you you find the ones that sh are shaped like a sniper rifle. Or you find the ones that are shaped like a bazooka or something, right? A, a rocket launcher. And they said you you take your graham crackers and chew it into the shape of like a little pistol. And you go ping, ping. And that's like fun and exciting and cool. Like, this is how we're wired. And us personally, we're wired to that level times like a thousand. So let's talk about it, about school. Let's talk more about school. What were, there was something you were telling about, you were starting to tell me about school. I forget what it was mm -hmm. today. Our school monitor at lunch. So What's a school monitor, first of all? What is a school monitor? There's like eight of them out there, along with the principal. That principal is just... Don't forget, this is like live and public. Yeah, I know. The principal is excellent. Just great. <laughs> so are the school monitors. Yeah, we're going to have to homeschool you. Let me write down those notes. Find homeschool teachers because you will be kicked out of class and that especially. Okay. <laughs> so, go ahead. Go. Tell the story. Eight school monitors and there's like two. Two by the soccer field. So, we're just playing soccer and I'm going to get the ball. And it's fifth grade versus fourth grade. So, go. And a fourth Tell grader. Me. Tell me. And a fourth grader push, pushes and trips me right in front of her. So then I get up and give him a little bump. And she's like, you're out. Get out of the field. What's a little bump? Like what? Just like a, you know, a little shoulder bump. A little like bump. nudge? Yeah. Like, like little, when I was walking by. Like a little warning? A little like, nudge. hey, sucker. All right, you got me, but I'm here. Mm-hmm. So were you aren't were you being uh so he's a fourth grader and you're in fifth grade so you're older are you were you being like mean or a bully about it? No. It was in a game like a competition. Yeah. Like, where there's like a winner and a loser. Are you keeping mm -hmm. score? Are you even yeah, allowed to keep score in your school? No, you're allowed to. I'm surprised they allowed you're not you. Not allowed to say vote. You're not allowed to write it. You're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say "Let's go, Brandon." I was just cheering my friend on like. I'm such a okay. Let me write some more notes. Find double homeschool teachers for you. So wait a minute. You're not waiting. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna lose track. I gotta keep notes because we're gonna stop. So we talked about that and and vote. so wait. Go back to vote. You can't vote. You're not allowed to vote. You can't talk about voting. I mean, like you're not allowed to vote for something because that's politics. But isn't that how, like, what, how they, what do they teach you in history class? Do you have, are they allowed to talk about American history anymore? Do they teach you history? Yeah, from like 500 years ago. But, okay, not, that's fine. They, but do they talk about, like, that's how history started. That's how this country is, like, run off of voting. That's just the way it goes, the way the government goes. Although it's sometimes very skeptical and suspect about, and funny. about how things <laughs> go and, and whatever. But what do you not allowed to talk about voting? I don't get it. I'm confused. What do they tell you? Like, you're... We were writing an essay a couple months ago, and the kid next to me wrote, vote. Like, would you vote to defend this person or not to defend? And the teacher came around and was just looking. And I, she was like, oh, you should change that to something else because you shouldn't really write vote in there. She said some, like, complicated word. I don't know what it really stood for. Like, started with oh. the C. She told you it's, I remember, I told you, I knew, controversial, right? Is yeah, that, controversial, yeah. So you're not allowed to talk about voting because it's controversial. Although that's how we get every person in our government and office and everything is voting. But it's controversial, so you're not allowed to talk about it. Awesome. So let's now go back to the, the kid tripped you, knocked you over. Why'd you go back and bump him? And not wrong. I just want to know why you think. Like, why did you go back and bump him? I didn't go back. I was just got up because the fourth grade had the balls by their side, so they picked up the ball and he was walking back. So I was just, I just like gave him a little nudge. Okay, but why? 
I wonder why you thought to do it. It's fine to do it. I don't give a shit. I'm saying why. And this is the first time he just brought the topic up. This is the first time we're actually having this discussion live on the air with you. So we we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Why in your head, what why did you bump him? What was that noise? Did you hear that? Like echoed. The heck? Maybe it's this okay. mic, I don't know. Um, Alright, go ahead. Off topic. Just to show that. Was a competition? Like. You ask him or tell me, sucker. Telling. Because it's like a competition. Like, oh shit, you knocked me on my ass. I better now get back in the game and show you, all right, motherfucker, I'm here. Like, ain't gonna slide. Like, I'm gonna, you better, like, watch it. Because that's how you do it. That's how boys do it in competition. That's how boys play games. Like, a little rough. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. A little bump here and there. You should have seen when I was playing basketball. I got kicked out of almost, I got, in the Marines, we were on a league. On our base, I got kicked out of almost every basketball game. Not saying you should do that. I was a little overboard, a little controversial. Did you push him? I got kicked out of almost every basketball game. I get kicked out of. We were in. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's like. That's at an eighty-nine degree angle, ninety. Even volleyball games. We were in a volleyball league, and I don't know anything about fucking volleyball. So when like those other guys are going to like hit the ball, you're not allowed to reach over the net at all. If you cross the. That's if the net, top of the net is here, you can't even reach your hand over it, even if you don't touch the net. First, you can't touch the net. You can't even reach your hand over it. I would reach over and smack the guy, like when they were going up to spike it, stuff them and smack them like you would do in basketball, and it would be fouls, and I'd get I foul, I get out of the game for whatever different reasons. But it's because it was a competition, and you get a little friendly, a little over friendly, a little friendly competition, a little rough. Nothing personal. You're not trying to hurt anyone. You're not being a bully about it stuff. You're just going after it. So you got knocked in four, and then with them, what did they tell you when you did it? You went and nudged them. She was, yeah, and then the lady saw was like, "You're out. You're not allowed to be in the game anymore. You're out." What was her name? I don't even know. What was her first name? You probably know her first name. Oh yeah, I know her first name. It was like Karen. Karen somebody. Poor, Ka- poor Miss Miss. Poor Karens out there. You know, there's uh, there's plenty of nice Karens out there. I'm sure some like gun loving, hardcore Karen Americans, and they're just now thrown into the pot with with that name. That is just horrible. So you did it just to like, cause it's competitive. It's how boys freaking play. Like, oh shit, you got me. You knocked me on my ass. But guess what? I'm still here, and I'm gonna be coming for you. And next time, it ain't gonna work that way. And she even said that I was playing too aggressive. I swear to God, I heard her whisper. Or another kid was there, and, he, and she was like, you're playing way too aggressive. You're out. You're out. So I just had to sit at, by the tree on just the sidelines. But it was like for three minutes. For the rest of the game? Yeah, just for three minutes, basically. So where was I going with that? So what was I saying before? I know why you did it, or why did you do it, or what was I asking you earlier? And I said we'll talk that's about That's how boys show. do it, or something? I don't remember. All right, so that's one thing. So you're you're not allowed to nudge someone. Uh, well, I don't remember where I was going with it. You were at, we were talking about it before, and I said, I'll tell you on the show, and I forgot. And you said, what was it? Is it the reason for something? Remember? No? Remember I was about to say something, and I said, I'll save it? Anyway. Oh, yeah, you said something in the garage. Yeah, what was it about? It was about that. this. I know, but what was I about to tell you? You didn't say it, though. Know, you but... said, I'll save it for the show. And I fucking forgot it. That's just awesome. That's great. So let's move on. Search Google. So search Google for what I was thinking. Google is not that freaking smart. So let's move on. So let's talk about other things in that go on in school and whatever else that is just kind of a a, a waste. Not a waste, but what are other things? Do they, in, do they do Pledge of Allegiance in school in the morning? No, they don't. They don't? They, you, they never do Pledge of Allegiance. What? Never. I thought you used to do Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, at the beginning, in third grade, every day until Corona hit. Corona just destroyed everything. But you're back in school now, in person. Mm -hmm. No, we don't say the Pledge of Allegiance. No one goes like on a loudspeaker and the whole school stands up at the same time and puts their hands on their, like, chest? Only, like, when, like, if we're at the beginning of a break. Everybody will be called out into the blacktop and we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. Or 
if somebody is retiring from the school, then we'll do the... But otherwise... Do they say under do. God in the Pledge of Allegiance? Or do they skip that? You know the part says... Yeah. Something, something, Pledge under God. Indivisible. In liberty Did they say God? I heard some yeah. some states, they took out the word God because they didn't want to offend under people. Under what? Under what? I don't know. I don't know under what blank. <laughs> under... I don't know. The, under go, under the government. Under the government. Under the government. So, so you don't do the Pledge of Allegiance anymore? That's crazy. That's it's crazy. sad. You guys want a joke? Oh, no. Not another one. Is it? A, I hope it's not going to offend anyone else now. It might offend your car. Your car? Why did the man put his car in his oven? Because he wanted a hot rod. The show has gone downhill. Episode number 14 may be the last because the ratings will be so low because these jokes. And, I, and as you did ratings? that... ratings? I knew... Yeah, from the, our many, nice. many, many listeners that are putting their a thousand emojis there. And I remember the point of what I was going to say in the garage about the thing. So what lesson did you learn? Remember I was asking that? What lesson did you learn about, all right, you got knocked down, you got up, you went and gave a nudge. What lesson did you learn in that? And they got kicked out of the game because the, the teacher, the monitor saw you. What lesson did you learn? This is just my own notes, so I'm not writing anything for you. This is just so I for, don't forget my next things because the brain's all over the place. What lessons did you learn from that? So you got knocked on your ass, and it just happens. We get knocked on our ass. I've been knocked on my ass, and you know, and it was a younger kid, so you got to get up and get your respect back first of all, right? Like shit, I gotta be on. I gotta be a, a, on top of my game. You went and gave him a little nudge, like, hey, sucker, I'm coming for you. Like, in a friendly, fun, competitive way that boys do. And the teacher, the monitor saw you. So what lesson do you think you should get out of that? It's fine you got knocked on your ass. It's fine you went and nudged him. What, what do you think is the lesson there? This is parenting 101 right here. So to do it notes. when she's turned around? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that is the parenting 101. I'm teaching you how to do good parenting. To, you take the situation. Wait, is that actually it? Yes. You take the situations, like I said, the, the monitor saw you do it, like it needs to be done. That's just how boys operate. And if you can't handle that, then I don't know, decide to not be a boy or decide to not be a monitor of boys or decide to not work at a school. Because you're, by not letting you get knocked on your ass, like you get knocked on your ass, they shouldn't come, oh my God, are you okay? Oh, you can't run on the concrete. They're like taking away your becoming a boy, which eventually turns into a man. They're going to make all these soft little, little sissy boys and turn into these soft, Men, and I'm sure you've seen many soft men in the world, like as we go around and we go around the world and stuff. Have you seen some soft men out there? Yeah. In fact, there's one sitting, there's one sitting right next to me right now. Those are fighting, <laughs> those are fighting words. You're lucky we're live on camera. I'm a, when, we, when this camera shuts off, I'm whooping your ass, boy. We are, fight, we are fighting to the death. We are fist fighting. We're going right out to outside in the street, and we are brawling. Why in the street? It's the blacktop. We can't run. Oh, we can't fight it because it's the blacktop. You might skim a knee. Mm -hmm. Forget the fact I'm a punch in the face like a man, but you <laughs> might skim a knee. That's very dangerous. So they are wimpifying the little boys there and turning them into like... Is that in the dictionary? I don't give a fuck. It's in the, <laughs> it's in the break in the cycle dictionary. Like they are wimpifying the young little boys like it's a freaking shame. So then someone was at, and this is why it all ties into this guy literally asked me. I was presenting to these fathers. I, we break apart the fathers and sons. And it's funny, they I go with the fathers and, and talk to the fathers, and some of the other instructors go with the sons. The few point times that they left me with the sons, you should have heard some of the stuff I talked to them. And after I left, I'm like, now I know why they put me with the fathers, because the advice I give to the sons, we're talking about stuff. We're talk, They were talking about bullies and this other stuff. and Punch them in the face. That's what I told them. I said, hey, when, when all else fails, just punch them in the fucking nose. And I said, that, I can't imagine why they make me go with the fathers. They don't leave me with the kids all day. They don't leave me with the boys all day. But they need to hear shit like that sometimes. It was halfway joke and halfway serious. But the the guy asked, how could you have your son go in school? Because they're wimpifying you. They're turning you to little, little bitches is what they're doing. And they grows up to be these weak men who are just all, missed. of course you don't want to be mean, but it turns into these men who are just a little Mr. Nice Guy, a little prancing around and a little whatever. And not the type, not men who you're supposed to be. And, I told them the reason why. What do you? Why do you think I still let you go? Socialization. To sort of. 
part part of it. That's part of it. But why do you think I let and I, and we never talked about this before? So I just want to see what he comes up with and thinks. And it's not written here. I just want to. This is this is literally the first time we've ever had this conversation. So it's kind of cool we're having it live here with you because you can learn about this stuff. This is the kind of conversation you should be having with your freaking kids. Like, and if you're not because you're too busy because you're you're all tired and pissed and have anxiety and stressed and depressed and sitting there getting home from freaking work and then doing some more work and you get home from work and sitting your fat ass on the couch. Oops, we said the f word again. Then shame on you, sucker. Like you should be having these type of conversations and being vulnerable and teaching your kids this kind of shit because this is the real world. This is preparing them for the real world. So I want to see if you could figure out why, like what my answer was to this guy. Like we don't believe in a lot of the stuff that you get taught at school. You agree on that? Like we think opposite. Like you can't go nudge someone? Hell yeah. Like someone knocks me on my ass. I'm going to go let them know. All right, I'm still here. You got that one, but I'm still here. And I'm going to get you back, sucker, because that's how boys fucking play. It's called playing. I would definitely say you can run on, skim your knees and this and that, because you're going to, whatever. So why do you think? Oh, and here's another thing. In PE, we do monkey bars. Did you know that we're not allowed to walk underneath them? Because we might get hurt. Somehow. We're not allowed to walk underneath to go back to the line. Underneath the monkey bars? Yeah. Like While someone's the, hanging? Or just no, any time? No, just any time. You're not allowed to. All right. And two people are not allowed to go on the monkey bars. Only one person can go at a time. Was it... It was... Was it like this in... Were we in New York for Corona? No, Corona happened while we were in California. Were there like strict rules like this at the schools in New York? No. No. So oh, California is like more strict than New York. I don't know if that has to do with it, but that's besides it's probably the, just the corona. That's just besides the point. It is. It's Noggin. like people are going freaking downhill since the coronas. This mic. Some of those don't are the mics. So you have to talk. Make sure you're talking a little louder. When a little talking. louder. A little louder, sucker. Okay, so see. I want to go. I want you to figure out. See if you can see why would I still let you like they tell you you can't talk about voting and controversial stuff. We talk about controversial stuff here live. We talk about that stuff when the cameras are not here, even deeper. And we have these conversations on a regular basis. Every night we sit here and we talk about our day and we give ourselves ratings and why we got it. And, and you're surprised sometimes when I give myself a 19 or a 21 out of 25. Like, holy shit, why so low? We have these talks. We have these conversations. We talk about these types of things. So why do you think if we're like kind of, I don't want to say against public schools, but... And listen, this is nothing against public school teachers. There's teachers are they dedicate their lives to trying to help kids out, but... Probably have differing views on some things. Why do you think we still, I still want, still send you to these public schools? Socialization is like the part of it. Like, that's the easy part. Yeah, to like get. So you can see how other people act. We're getting, we're along the same ways. What, and why? Like, perfect. That's, we're right on. So the, you know what not to do? Sort of. Or... And how to. Motivate people? Mm, sort of. But how to deal with them. So like all the stuff we talk about and the stuff I teach you at home about mental toughness and discipline and the right attitude and giving maximum effort and nudging someone when they knock you on your ass, like you're going into school. And I told the guy, the reason why that we still send you to school is so you can go and practice. Like school is like your training grounds for the real, for the stuff that we teach you. Because think of how screwed up school is. Like if you could be mentally tough to think the way we think and be able to survive a day in school when you get older and the world is just fucked up out there, you'll be mentally tough and ready for it and still be able to operate at a high level even with all the weirdos and, and slackers around you. So it's it's like your training grounds to go practice all the shit that you learn about discipline and standing up for yourself and speaking up and a couple of things that we're going to talk about here in a second. It's your chance to go practice these things we talk about. You get it? Mm -hmm. give, me, give me an example if you can. Kind of a hard question, but like, I'll give you an example. When the tea, when they tell you you can't walk under the monkey bars, question them on stuff. Like that's a brave thing to do. That's like if you don't think, if you don't believe in it, question it. Why can't we say? Walk under uh, excuse me. Bars? Why can't we walk under those when no one's under there? Uh, can you explain? Because the bars might bend. Maybe there's gonna be an earthquake. What kind of cheap ass metal is that? Steel? Kind of steel? Oh, here's another thing. Oh, no. So, the co-PE teacher, we're going to do push-ups, like five of them. Or, well, before that, we're doing sit-ups. And I just said a joke, like, you're not going to get a six-pack for nothing. And then the 
called Teacher Heard Me, and he was like, everybody has a six-pack, but for some people, you just can't see it. <laughs> I'm like, what the frick? Oh, my God. It's true, but he forgets, forget, fails to mention, some people don't see it because they got a bunch of fucking lard on there because they don't have any discipline, and they don't they eat a bunch of shit, and they don't work out enough. Of course, they can't see it. Is is is, is he rounduler? Mm-mm. No? He's like... Just like skinny, some Normal. muscle, yeah. Do they teach you in school? So that's that's the main thing. That's what I told the guy. I said we still have you go there to go and like practice and get used to the real world and dealing with the the jackassery that's out in the real world. Like that's Is that your also in the dictionary. Jackassery. I don't know, but we, look, we're just creating all kinds of words here. I'm breaking this. Oh, cycle. it must be the thesaurus. Thesaurus. It's on the thesaurus. So. What challenge them more? I am challenging you live on break of the cycle to challenge these damn teachers more. Like you have my permission to challenge them because that's why we're that is why we're sending you there. Of course, they could teach you science and all this math stuff that I obviously can't teach you. That's fine, although you're not going to use very much of it. Like math, I think up to like the fifth grade level, sixth grade level is probably the last a bit of math I've used now to my 27 years on this planet is up to fifth grade level. After that, none of that math I've ever used. Spanish I've used a little from learning a little bit of Spanish. That's probably about it that I've actually used in the real world when it comes to- You don't really need, it's cool to learn social studies, but like when will we ever like really use it? In some ways it's good to learn about the, you have to learn about the history about yeah. the country and the way things yeah. work and politics. Yeah. You can understand things when you're yeah. an adult, how the, how the world works and stuff. But yeah. But then you're not allowed to talk about it anyway. You're not allowed to have an opinion on stuff. Do they teach you about thinking for yourself? Do they try to teach you to think for yourself and form your own opinions on this stuff? Or you're just told how to think and how to act? No. We're taught to be sheep. Sheep. <laughs> Freaking sheep. It's it's true. And what about letting you be just creative and come up with your own ideas? Choose what books you read and things like that. Like That's the way I think it should be. So the fact that you have to suffer through like this craziness like almost communism is your training grounds do you get it how it's making you tougher by if you think one way but you're forced to operate in a world that thinks another way it's letting you practice your techniques that we're teaching you you get it like that's what the answer i gave him and it made sense it makes sense to me but that's why i'm challenging you to challenge him on this stupid stuff and ask more questions ask well wait a minute don't we vote for our president don't we vote for all of our representatives don't we vote for our entire government but i can't talk about voting that's how this country was built. Like this country is, it runs off of voting. So I can't talk about it in history class. In social studies class, I can't talk about voting. Do you have the balls to challenge them on stuff like that? No. Yes. I'm challenging you to challenge them. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing like being a wise ass about it, about them saying that you can't talk about voting. Why would you just, don't just accept that shit. I know you do it because you don't want to like, ruffle anyone's feathers and upset the little communists and all this other stuff but i am challenging you to challenge them you will not get in any trouble for asking questions ask more questions challenge them ask why all the time ask them why why do we have to do that way and if they give you the answer if you if it's acceptable and you make sense okay thank you i appreciate you giving me that answer if they give an answer that's like half ass and communistic ish communistic ish it is in the dictionary look it up look it up Communistic-ish is a dic- is in the freaking dictionary. I is it real? Yeah, li- you look like a librarian when your when your glasses start tipping down to your nose. Look like a freaking librarian. I challenge you to ask them why, and if you don't like their answer, ask why again. All right? Ask them to explain further. I don't know if you really have the balls to do that because you don't want to look be like too weird. Well, yeah, you gonna do it? If you don't, if it doesn't make sense to you. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. Like, ask questions. You're in school to learn. But you're also secretly in school to build your mental toughness, to practice the stuff. It is. You're training. It's your training grounds for the fucked up world that's out there. That's what this is. That's school is. It is your training ground. Do they teach you anything about money, health, fitness, immune system, your immune system, making money, building a career, being an entrepreneur, starting a business, thinking about different options other than college? They ever tell you about that? No. Is it just like a known thing that when you're in school that they're expecting you to go to college? Like, right? Is that pretty much the route they think you're taking and they talk mm-hmm. about taking? They talk about any other route other than college. 
learning a trade, learning oh, a skill. Oh, my music teacher. Being an I, entrepreneur. My music teacher today, we're doing music, and he, he I don't know why, but he said, most of you are going to go to call, mo, like most of you are going to go to college, and some of you might choose not to. That was like the first time I ever heard somebody say that. And he's probably, when he says that, if that conversation went on further, probably his tonality of some of you will probably choose not to, like meaning like saying it like it's a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like putting you down for it, maybe or maybe not. I don't know. That's maybe just me just thinking that way. Do they, they teach you about being an entrepreneur? Do you even know what an entrepreneur is? Do you think other kids know what an entrepreneur means in your, in your school? No? Was that a yes or a no? No. You twitch no. There. No. Do you know what an entrepreneur is? Think. What? Somebody who like sells people or not? Not that, sells that, people. That sounded wrong. Sells like, people. Sells Talking something about. to people or like a franchise or something. It is. Like they that. work for themselves. They work for themselves. They have their own business. An entrepreneur, someone who decides to have their own business, doesn't isn't going to college to go work at a job. They're going to work for themselves and start their own business, start their own company, or sell people, apparently. Jesus. What kind of business are you trying to get into? This is some weird shit. But they don't teach you about being an entrepreneur. They tell you about being a business owner, running your own business. You know what a business owner is, right? You know what someone that runs your own business mm-hmm. is? Mm-hmm. Do they teach, talk about that at all? About running your own business, being a business owner, not only just going that one route? Do they teach you about no. doing your own thing, thinking for yourself, choosing your own path? No. Anything like that? No. They teach you about no. leadership, no. about communication, no. about teamwork, well, about problem solving. Little. Communication like how? Like talk with other kids sometimes. And yeah, I see. There's just say just very good communication skills you have there. They must be doing a very good job. They are. Hmm? That's what you did exactly. The point is, use it as your battlegrounds, and I challenge you to challenge them. On stuff that you don't agree with, don't understand. That's like the 18th time you said it. Because I want to make sure I wanted to dig in. And it was actually only the 17th sucker. And don't forget, we're going on that blacktop. And you're going to get a lot worse than skimmed freaking knees. I'll tell you that. We are brawling. The second this shit turns off, we are freaking brawling. It might take a while because we have to walk down the stairs, put our shoes on, unlock the door, walk outside into the street. Guys want a joke? Oh, no. What do you got? Why was the cowboy a lot of laughs? Because he was always horsing around. Horrible. Just horrible. The point is, think for yourselves. Don't let people tell you, no matter who it is, no matter your teachers, not even me. Don't even let me tell you how to think. Think for yourself. You got a big ass dome. Plenty of thinking can go on there to think for yourself. Not even let me to tell you how to think. I can help you and guide you and obviously show you the way sometimes, but... Learn to think for yourself. Make your own decisions. Not let anyone tell you what to think, what to do, how you should be thinking and and tell you that voting is controversial and all this other bullshit. Use school as your training grounds. Learn the real shit at home. And that's what you should be doing as a role model parent, as a leader parent, is using home to teach your kids the, the real shit that really matters and the important stuff in life that they need to know. And then let them go and practice that leadership and communication and teamwork and problem solving and mental toughness and emotional discipline, emotional resiliency, all these things we talk about, let them go and practice that on the battlegrounds of the black, the evil blacktop at school. Anything to add before we finish off? Any more? You're all out of jokes? All right. I got one more joke. I got one more joke. Oh, no. Anything to tell the people before we head out? What do you think children feel is a well-balanced meal? A hamburger in each hand. Horrible. Absolutely freaking horrible. All right, anything you want to tell the people before we, we sign off? No! Ed says! Very, 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 very normal child. I can't imagine where it gets it from. We will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome, and you are fucking awesome. No excuses.